Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about what you must know about ticker symbol BBBY, also known as Bed Bath & Beyond. We're going to be covering should you buy, should you sell this stock. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know down in the comments. So what is going on with this stock? Well, looking at the chart, you will notice that this stock over the past couple of weeks and past couple of days has been very, very, very volatile. The stock has gone from about $6 all the way up to about $13. It doubled in about two days. Now, then it sold off and kind of consolidated for a while. And then the stock went from about uh, about $10 all the way up to $30 a share in the matter of one, two, three days. And anytime you have a move like that, just as fast as this stock has gone up, often it's going to fall down just as fast. And that's kind of what we saw. It consolidated there for about a day and then slowly just started stair stepping its way down. Now, right now, the stock is down about 40%. And a lot of people have kind of two mindsets. The first mindset is okay, this thing is a sinking ship. I'm not even going to touch it. It's way too risky, too volatile, and all that stuff. The second, the second mindset people have is, oh my gosh, this stock is down 40% from, from its highs. If I buy now, it's like buying on a discount. So once this thing pops back up to 30, I'm going to be making so much money. So what's going on? Why did it pop up? Well, looking at the chart previous, you'll notice that this thing was pretty much just a sinking ship. The company was losing money, closing stores and all that good stuff. And looking at the you know the earnings report, you'll notice that the company isn't doing so hot, right? They were losing money on all of their recent earnings reports. The last earnings that was decent was all the way back in about just about a year and a half ago. Okay, so every other earnings was terrible. Company losing money and all that stuff. So what a lot of people did was actually short this stock. Shorting a stock is pretty much when you borrow shares from the broker in hopes to buy them back at a lower price. There's two issues with with shorting a stock. One, there's no max loss. Meaning, if the stock goes up in value, it could go up to $100,000. It can keep climbing up. Comparing if you bought a stock at $5, the max you can lose is $5 per share because the stock will just go to zero. It can't go into negatives. So that's one thing. The second thing is you have to buy those shares back. You have to buy them back. And what, what happens when people buy stock back? that stock price will go up. And that's kind of what we saw. This is something called a short squeeze. This is pretty much when a company or somebody announces pretty much to buy this buy this stock. And that's what pretty much where Wall Street Bets came in and said, hey, you guys, we have an investor named Ryan Cohen, who is the CEO of Chewy.com. He bought some shares. Maybe that's buy some. So they pretty much pumped this stock up causing a whole bunch of people that were shorting the, the stock to cover their losses, which causes these stock prices to go up even more, which also causes a whole bunch of you know retail investors to get emotion and have FOMO, fear of missing out. So they buy, causing that stock price to go up even more. And then what happens is everybody kind of stops buying. And that's kind of what we saw near and around $30. It continued to you know start selling off. Ryan Cohen, on um, sold about he made about 178 million dollars on his shares and now people are like wait i i, w I bought in at 25 30 dollars a share maybe this thing will go up to 60 dollars but realistically anytime you see these pump and dumps or anytime you see these meme stock stocks pop up they're very 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 risky you know if we look at proven track records of like GME, GameStop, you'll notice a very, very similar, similar situation. If we go back to the daily, you know, the yearly chart, I should say, you'll notice the stock went from $4 to 120, back down to 10, back up. Just the volatility on this thing is very, very high. So all the people that bought up, you know, at $110, $90, they always were hoping that these stocks were 
going to pop up again, but realistically started stair-stepping its way down. So personally, I think that what's going to happen is you're going to have people that are going to wish they would have sold their shares. And I definitely think right now, for people that are trying to invest, it's going to be very, very risky. You know, another reason, look at the RSI right here. The RSI is called the Relative Strength Index. This determines if the stock is over or undervalued. It was trading for about an 85 on the RSI. And looking back at previous times, this thing was at 85, all the way in here where the stock popped up, sold off. Another time, all the way in here where the stock popped up, sold off. So you look at these and you understand history repre repeats itself. So the stock popped up, now we're starting to sell off. I would not be surprised in the matter of you know a couple of days if we see this stock trading for five, six bucks a share. I just think that right now it's way too risky for people to invest into this. I think it's a sinking ship and I would not recommend it. So guys, that is kind of what's going on, what you must know about this company and answering all those main questions of should you buy, should you sell, should you hold. You know, I was telling you guys not to buy it all the way in here. It's just a not a good thing, sinking ship, guys. So personally, stay away from it if you're if you're a beginner investor or even a more experienced investor, look for better opportunity elsewhere for a long-term investment. There could be some day trades or even some possible swing trades on this, but do those, you know, do your own research obviously before going heavy into those positions. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. See you later.